to use the board, it's very simple. Uh, we're going to start by putting the piece of paper on the board and uh, securing that. So what I do is I take the piece of paper and with my left hand or right, depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed, uh, I grab the uh, parallel rule itself and I hold it in place. Your brake is loose, your brake is off, okay, so you can move up and down. These knobs are tight at this point. You take your left hand and you just kind of hold on to the parallel rule. You take your paper that's still loose and you just rest it on this edge of the parallel rule. On this edge here is what you want to take this piece of paper and just kind of tuck it on there. If you've got this edge parallel with this rule, you're going to have parallel line. Once it's where you want it to be, get some drafting tape. You could use painter's tape. Uh, I wouldn't use masking tape. Uh, it's going to tear your paper. And in the far corners, we'll start at the top. All right? You can fasten it at the top. Then you can fasten it at the bottom. All right? And you're going to want to make sure and get that tape down there good and smooth so that it doesn't roll up on you. And once that's in place, you're going to want to pick up your parallel rule just a little bit to get it up on the surface of the paper. It's, it's rare that you're going to be drawing to the very edge of the paper. Chances are you're going to be drawing a couple of inches up. So you want to kind of pick up the, the rule and place it on the paper. Right? One of the reasons it's important to keep this clean is that as you roll this up and down the paper, you don't want pieces of graphite or ink smearing your work. So it's, it's important to work with clean tools. Keep your tools clean and your drawing will be clean. Um, typically, you're, you're using a parallel rule board in the drafting class or doing a drafting, a drawing, a technical drawing. So you've got your 30, 60 degree triangle, 45, 90 degree triangle. Um, T squares are used uh, in conjunction with this, but since you have the parallel rule, you don't need that. So this is your T square. Um, and again, uh, it's very simple. Uh, it rolls up and down. Your paper is now parallel so that you can draw your lines. And since we line the paper up with this rule, we know that these lines are parallel. All right? And it's just a matter of you know, drawing your lines where needed. Um, as, you're, as you're moving the parallel rule up and down the paper, I would pick it up just ever so slightly. There are uh, this edge is a little bit ridged, so you can grab it. I would just pick it up ever so slightly, uh, just to keep it off of the surface. You don't want to be doing that over and over and over and over. It will smear the ink or the graphite. Um, your triangles then can be rest. You can rest them on the edge of the board or the edge of the uh, uh, parallel rule. And these, I believe, are inking triangles. There's a little edge there. And you know, if you're drawing your technical drawing, if you're doing a plan drawing, architectural drawing, or a design of some sort that needs straight lines, uh, these are always used in conjunction with the parallel rule. Uh, 30, 60, 45, 90. Uh, you can take your 45, 90, uh, put it on the edge of this, and you'll get a different angle, depending on which angle you're after. So it's all just straight lines, that's all it is. And if you keep this straight and the paper straight, your lines will always be parallel. Thank you.